Hey everyone, this is Liz and I'm a mindset coach. This lesson today is going to be short, easy peasy, quick, because yesterday was longer. Okay, so this lesson is going to be about self-care. Make the list and do the things. And, but first I want to mention that my online coaching is available. The description's in the link below. I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching and I do energy healing sessions and I have other courses, et cetera, et cetera. I would love to hear from you. So today, self-care, make the list and do the things. So I used to talk to my soldiers and sailors back in the day about self-medicating, right? We know what that is. We know what that is, right? When we do too much of a something that they become unhealthy. Um, sometimes these are good things that we do. We just do them too much, like working out or having sex. There are good things and there could be too much of a good thing. And there are, of course, things we might consider not good, like illegal activities or things that cause us or others personal harm. I don't necessarily listen to the law per se, but I try to do what's ethical, right? That's what I think about. You know, when I, th when I think illegal, I think what's unethical for me, unlawful for me, not personally what the stupid laws out there say necessarily. Anyway, you know, we self-medicate to feel better. We self-medicate to soothe ourselves. We do it to avoid looking at something inside, like a memory or an event, a happening. If we have PTS, PTSD, and so on. We distract ourselves so we don't have to do our personal work, as I call it. We all have stuff and we all self-medicate to a degree, I suppose. So I have said in the past, all things in moderation, including moderation, take that as you will. I don't mean we decide to cause each other harm every once in a while. It's just what I mean by that is one night I might have another margarita and I decide to not drive anywhere, right? I live my own interesting life doing my own thing, but it's not that wild by some standards. <laughs> so during one brief to them, I offered uh, I offered this idea. I just made it up on the spot, the idea of creating a self-soothing list. First, I had the soldiers create their self-medication list. All right, not to shock you, but on this list were things like too much drinking, too much sex, too much video gaming, too much working out, too much porn, fight clubs, you know, growing medicinal plants in the barracks, et cetera, et cetera. Sorry to be blunt, but that's the kind of thing it usually was. And I left some things off the list. <laughs> uh, so I had a Navy commander colleague during the lockdowns and because one of our, one of our Navy guys tried to get his girlfriend on post, which was definitely uh, not, uh, not allowed at the time. So he put her in the trunk. Um, he, ins he got inspected at the gate and he got rank busted for, for that because she was in the trunk. I mean, good thing she was okay. I don't know if that car had a trunk release thingy in it or not. And so the Navy commander, his commander and I were like, so you thought that was a good idea? <laughs> and apparently so did she. <laughs> you, know, you know, it was okay, you can't fix stupid, but I guess they were desperate. So, I mean, people just do stuff. They do crazy stuff. Um, then this Navy commander told me about one of, well, some of his guys who tried to bring a drunk, uh, I shall call her an exotic dancer onto post in Djibouti. Well, they got inspected and they opened the trunk and she was dead. And you thought that was a good idea. And some things are so wrong. We always had a saying, you know, go big or go home. And we also say play stupid games and win stupid prizes. And some people die. Anyway, sorry to be so macabre, but it's just like, this is life in the military. So at first I had to make that self-medicating list. So they would have a, have a look at, a look-see at what they were doing, right? Like, yeah, yeah, I do that. Yeah, yeah. Then I had them make a list of things to do that made them feel good that were in generally, generally uh, good things for you. Not in, not, you know, not to be overdone, but a list of things that made them feel good. And I suggested that they do these things on that list as much as possible to kind of turn them from going down self-medicating to self-soothing. So I called it the self-soothing list. And perhaps that's a dumb name. Maybe we could call it the fun list. Maybe we could call it self-care, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. This is such an obvious and simple thing. It's so simple. It's so obvious, silly, but it's really has helped people. I would say make that list. Like I try to, I try to spend every minute of my life, even every second of my day usefully in a useful manner. So I'm always like conscientiously deciding, for example, say, oh, I have 20 minutes right now. What do I want to do with it? Oh, let me look at that list. Oh yeah, right. Epsom salt baths. Right. Let me do that now. I have 20 minutes, say, right. 
Um, or I have two minutes. Oh, I got to make that call. I don't want to make, but let's just make it. That's not on the self soothing list, but it's another topic is avoiding avoidance. But uh, just, just what's on that self soothing list. Some of the things that I can share that are on mine are take a bath or shower, walk a dog, do yoga, do a workout, cook for myself, care for myself, you know, do beauty stuff, organize something in my house, take care of the yard, take care of the garden, take care of the house, take care of the vehicles, uh, call someone, hang out with girlfriends, you know, a, a, a um, adult beverage or two, you know, again, in moderation, um, say hi to my friends, hike, talk to my kids, friends, learn stuff, take a class, make myself some tea, a seltzer water, do some camping, traveling, do funny, go to funny movies, whatever, see science fiction movies, which is my jam, like some brain candy on YouTube. There's a funny, some funny guys that just make me laugh for 10 minutes during the day. Journaling, meditating, praying, learning metaphysics, mythology, spirituality, self-help, meditation, helping others, et cetera, et cetera. Now, essentially, this is a form of self-care. So I just recommend easy peasy, make a list of self, things that are good for you in general when they're not overdone and do these things as often as you can. And again, not to the extent of where you're, you know, you're drinking all day, you know, adult beverages all day. I'm not saying make it into self-medicating, but just do things on the list, different things on the list. And when you look at the list, you might remember, oh yeah, I want to do the thing. I want to like gargle with salt water, right? That's good for me. But I forgot to, haven't done it in a couple of months, whatever, whatever. Sometimes I do a little Ayurvedic medicine for myself um, and certain like to take care of my mouth, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll forget the, I'll, you know, remember those on occasion and do those like, right, right. I can oil pull with coconut oil, right, right. So stuff like that. I look at the list on occasion. Anyway, enough said. I hope the funny stories or the macabre story helps you remember about the self-soothing or self-care or fun list. And let me know what you think. Take care, everyone. Bye.